Okay, uh, good morning everybody. Uh, thank you for coming so early on Monday to, for this workshop. Uh, I want to thank for, uh, our colleagues from overseas who, who came to participate uh, in these uh, next few days of discussions. Um, the, this workshop uh, was organized uh, in collaboration with the Nanyan Technological University, the, the School of Engineering, and uh, with uh, the uh, help of the U.S. Uh, uh, Department of Defense through the Air Force uh, Office of Research. Uh, so we're very glad uh, for their uh, participation and uh, financing uh, this workshop. Uh, so we have to thank them very much. So uh, a little bit about the uh, history of this. In, um, uh, in 2005, uh, Andre Gaiman collaborators in Manchester they published a paper, a very early paper, on uh, two-dimensional crystals, already looking beyond graphene. So this is just after their famous uh, uh, paper in science in 2004. So it was uh, quite obvious to some of us in the very beginning that this field would expand beyond graphene uh, quite fast. And uh, there are many reasons for that. Of course, graphene is a wonderful material, and uh, today we know a lot about it. We're still learning new things uh, as we put graphene uh, in contact with other materials. So we're going to also hear about that today. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, graphene, as you know, is a semi-metal, and it has its... Um, limitations uh, in several ways. Uh, and we have been looking uh, since 2005 for new materials with different properties, you know, two-dimensional semiconductors, two-dimensional magnets, two-dimensional superconductors, and so on. So it was quite obvious for us that uh, this would be the next frontier of research in the area of two-dimensional two materials. And of course, uh, looking further into the future, I think uh, we all agree that uh, taking out these new two-dimensional materials and putting them in three-dimensional heterostructures is going to be a big challenge, not only from the basic science point of view, but also a challenge uh, in terms of using these materials uh, in, in industrial applications. So uh, graphene is uh, now having, uh, uh, is starting in a big way to uh, uh, be used in several applications. It's right the beginning. And for the materials that we're going to talk about here is just the beginning. So there is uh, a lot of uh, work that will be done in the next few years in this area. Uh, not only here, but uh, everywhere in the world. If you look, for instance, at the uh, calendar for the March meeting of the American Physical Society for next year, you're going to see there are already several sessions with this title, Beyond Graphene. So it's something that is happening, and it will happen, and it will grow. And I believe, in my view, that it's going to grow as fast as graphene grew in the early days, which was not so long ago. I look back 10 years, but, you know, it's, uh, it was uh, 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 10 years that run very fast. So, so much activity, so much excitement, so many things happening. So I think we're following more or less the same trend. And so uh, this, uh, uh, this workshop uh, was envisioned uh, really to look not only at about what's going on today, but going, looking into what's going to happen in the future. And what are the limitations? What are the bottlenecks? Uh, what are the issues that have to be solved? And in terms of graphene, we know a great deal because we have a lot of experience. For these new materials, as I said, it's just the beginning. Now, uh, this, uh, one thing I should tell you is that uh, uh, in 2010, we wrote a proposal for the National Research Foundation of Singapore with exactly this title, actually, uh, Beyond Graphene. It was uh, we're already uh, uh, looking into this uh, here in Singapore. Uh, so Singapore, as you probably know, has been investing 
quite substantially in this area. So it's considered a strategic area. And uh, uh, many of us, actually, you have representatives from many uh, 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 institutions here uh, uh, from Singapore who are interested in this topic. So actually, it's very good that this workshop is happening here. I think it fits extremely well with the uh, desire that uh, Singapore has to uh, be a world leader in this field of research. And I hope that uh, during your visit here, you have the opportunity to meet Singaporean colleagues and uh, establish new collaborations and uh, uh, come to Singapore and, and enjoy uh, Singapore, not only for science, but also for the food and other things that Singapore has to offer. It's my privilege to introduce the first speaker, a man who doesn't need any introduction, Professor Andrea Gain from the University of Manchester. Uh, who is one of the pioneers, I would say the pioneer in graphene and also in two-dimensional materials. And uh, we're very pleased to have him here today with us. Thank you.